ever found that your characters in your campaign are carting around several large sacks of coins with them? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you some ideas where characters can put those coins without us dishing out bags of holding. There must be a better way to record rather than this bar here, not to... Hello, <sighs> so my name is Inwills and I produce content relating to all things to do with role-playing games. This is one of my gibbering GM videos where I share content about being an effective GM and ideas for your campaigns. Any ideas for improving my setup? Let me know in the comments. So if your characters are carting around loads of coins and treasure, well, here are some ideas for what they could do with them. First of all, the most simple thing, let's convert all those coins to larger coins. Now, when I say larger coins, I probably mean coins of greater value. So depending on your campaign, the, the most frequently used coins might be copper or silver. Well, what we can do is exchange those copper or silver for coins with more value, which means that they will get less coin. For example, changing X a number of silver coins for an even smaller number of gold coins. But I know, I know that's nothing new. So to reduce the bulk of coins, the players or characters could start to buy expensive items that they could store in their houses for example gems jewelry and even pieces of art completing transactions like this could involve a range of other skills for example commerce or even haggling and there could be some influence and maybe some deceit skills being used as well it also allows the possibility for your characters to be conned several times that sounds like fun this would also mean that the party would have to become more and more um, invested with the local merchant guilds because surely they have the resources to buy and sell these exquisitely expensive items. And if you would like an interesting side adventure, then why not check out the encounter guarding the guild mistress from the digital download shop? It's a really good starting point for any group of characters who wish to start interacting with the local merchant guild. Eventually, they will have a huge amount of high value coins or even pieces of artwork and gems and jewelry. And what do they do with them all? Well, it's time for them to build a stronghold. In my head, a stronghold could any, be anything from a castle or to a hidden basement to a locked room to a, an elaborate chest with several rooms and an expertly created locking system. Again, designing and constructing and guarding this location could open up a huge range of skills for the characters. Would they be happy to buy in somebody to create the lock or do they actually want to make the lock themselves and this chest or room will need to be guarded so characters will start interacting with hirelings that they will pay to stand guard and protect their well-earned treasure there are also many Bells and wards and magical traps that can be placed on the doorway or corridors leading to that treasure trove. Creating this space or chest or whatever it is leads to the possibility of numerous um, side quests for the characters. Maybe they have to search for the best person to do the job of creating these magical wards or these elaborately crafted locks or maybe even they want to test out other people's strongholds to see how easy they are to break into and 
even when everything's set up, the fun doesn't stop there. I wonder what the party would do if they were deep on a quest when suddenly their mage gets a message that one of their innermost wards have been tripped. And before you go, here's a little bonus idea for you. Within, the, within our Mithras campaign, I wanted to create an order that worked very much like a bank for the characters. I think it would be probably called the Syndicate and would operate out of the city of Lindo, the starting town for the characters. Rather than the party creating their own stronghold, the Syndicate would have one already created and would protect any treasure or coinage that the party left with them. I haven't fully fleshed out this idea yet, but I would know that the Syndicate would have to create a very, very, very safe place to store all this treasure. Maybe even something on a different dimension or somewhere that is connected with portals and marks on the floor coupled with this magical transportation system there would be traps and wards that would be truly superb and there might even be supernatural beings guarding the gold just imagine the reputation boost for any thieves guild that actually managed to steal a single coin from under the nose of the syndicate if you have any great ideas to support the creation of the syndicate then please do let me know in the comments below maybe it is an organization that actually appears across multiple campaigns thank you for all your support i really do appreciate it and don't forget to check out the super thanks button and the membership orders on my ko-fi page until next time, happy adventuring everyone. This is the Gibbering GM returning to his campaign. See ya. Bye.